So I'm going to show you how to convert currencies in monday.com. Uh, unfortunately, there's no quick and simple way of doing this, uh, but hopefully you should be able to just copy paste my formula and make it work. Um, so I have here a, a equipment list of things I need to order. Um, and I'm receiving quotes in uh, US dollars and Canadian dollars, depending on who I'm buying from. And for my budgeting, I want to make sure that everything's automatically converted to Canadian dollars, um, just because I'm updating these quotes regularly and I don't want to have to keep um, finding, um, doing this manually. So I can just enter the price as it is in the quote here, enter the currency, and it, it will automatically convert. So to convert this, um, I use a formula column and you can just copy paste this. I have this in the description. Um, so this formula draws from my uh, quote price column and it sets a condition that if the currency is in US dollars, it will convert this amount into um, it will multiply it by 1.34 and if it is anything but USD it will just multiply it by 1. So this formula will only work with two specific currencies. So in blue are my functions um, and in purple I have my columns, my pers my custom columns that I've made. And then the text in black I've entered by hand. So um, if I was to make this again, I could type if, and then once I open the parenthesis, it will convert that in blue. I can also just collect, um, select if from the list of functions, and it will automatically open and close the parenthesis as part of that. So let's say I, um, so if I choose the currency column, so if currency equals, and then I open my quote marks and I'll say USD, and this is case sensitive. You want to have, um, you can't select the options from the currency column. You have to type this out and it is case, case sensitive, so don't make a mistake. So close the quote mark, then add a comma, choose this from the list of functions. So multiply, and then I'm going to choose the quote price. So it's going to take the amount in the, in the quote price column. Then I need to add a, column, a comma, and then I'm going to type 1.34, which is what the currency exchange rate is currently. Um, now I need to set the condition of what to do if um, it is not US dollars. So this is the uh, what happens with multiply, so I'm going to get between those two parentheses there and continue. So I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to write what happens to the non-USD quote prices. So I'm typing multiply again, opening my third set of parentheses, and I'm going to write, open up the bracket here, it will pop up with a list of columns that I can use. I'm going to Quote price. Um, okay, we skip it. Skipped a bit, but uh, so this is where I was at. I opened up quote price, and then I added, I add a comma, a one, and then I close the bracket, the parenthesis, and then set formula. And I made a mistake.
Let's see, I have my first parenthesis. Okay, so this one is one set of parentheses. This one is one, so I need one more to close it. Here we go. So if you've made a mistake someone, somewhere, it is very, very likely to be that you have the wrong number of parentheses or they're just in the wrong place. So this will only work for two conditions. So is it USD or is it not USD? And I'll show you next a way of doing it if you want to have more currencies. So to do this, um, it actually ends up being a little bit easier. So I'm going to start by opening my bracket and putting the quote price column there and then type the asterisk and then you're going to select the switch function put your currency column in there then add your comma and now I'm going to type in quotes um, the currency I want to select and what happens to it. Don't ask me how this works, I have no idea. But I know that if I do this, then if the currency is US dollars, then the quote price will be switched and multiplied by 1.34. So I'm going to open my quote marks write USD, comma, 1.34, then a comma. Then I'm going to put in quote marks, um, in quotations, my next currency. So if it's in Canadian dollars, comma, multiply by one, comma. Then my next one, comma, my next conversion rate, So now I have four different currencies. If it's already in Canadian dollars, it just keeps it, it's multiplied by one, so it keeps its own value. Um, so I'm gonna delete this because I don't want to duplicate it. And press that formula. And now I can test this. And I can see that my Canadian dollars don't change, my euros are times 1.47, my pounds are times 1.71, and my US dollars are at times 1.34. Um, the only reason that this is displayed with a dollar sign is because I put something in the formula as well. If I don't, it will just say the number itself. So this, the, the part that I've uh, highlighted is what will do the currency conversion. And the part outside what I've highlighted is just to put the dollar sign in front of my number. So the text applies to everything between um, those two parentheses and this here will determine how that number is displayed so if I wanted to add two decimal points after my number I could do this and you can see I've added the two zeros here and if I don't want to have the dollar sign at all I can delete 